Revolutionary Greetings, Comrades. On the 21st June 2023, the nomination court in Zimbabwe received the papers from individuals and political parties who want to be public representatives as part of the preparations for the 23rd August 2023 elections. The Zimbabwe Communist Party did not fail the candidates. Questions have been raised on why the party is not contesting. This question, if looked into carefully, speaks to the character of the party, or in other words, is the Zimbabwe Communist Party a vanguard or a mass party? And can a vanguard on its own contest an election? Can the vanguard enter into an alliance with a mass movement? Karl Marx and Frederick Engels teaches us that the communists must enter into alliance with the working class. In our first congress, we defined that the party is the organ of the working class. In other words, a communist party must enter into an alliance with the trade union movement. This is the discussion that we're also having at the Congress of the Alma Kameten Rural Teachers Union Congress, I mean, Alma Kameten Rural Teachers Union of Zimbabwe at their Congress in January 2020. Because some comrades would want to see the Zimbabwe Communist Party <laughs> entering into an alliance, say, with the main opposition party, Triple C, led by Nelson Chamis. And we argue, as we did in this speech, which uh, you will be listening to shortly, that a Communist Party is a vanguard. We are building a vanguard. It must enter into an alliance with the trade union movement. Please share your views after listening to this speech on what you think is the role of the vanguard in as far as the Zimbabwe 2023 20, elections are concerned. The trade union say, yes, just like uh, uh, during the colonial era, unless when the political movement that will fight for political power and they change the regime, the condition of the worker will not improve. This is why in 1999, in February 1999, we got that into two weeks. Under the Banner National Working People's Convention, if you look into those resolutions, of the National Working People's Convention in 1991, they were speaking to the issues of the workers. The resolutions themselves are socialist in character. So the workers under the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Union resolved that we must establish the movement for democratic change. Is a political formation mass movement that will champion the interests of the working class in the past. But the formation of the movement was in fact changed, coincided with the chaotic end reform that was happening. Those so that, that, that were in the FDC then, uh, uh, I see my. my Comrade went together, and he would agree or disagree with me. I don't know, Comrade Joseph. In 1999 to 2000, the MDC 
get no resources at all. It has to rely on the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions. It used the structures and the resources of the Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions to mobilize the set up structures. But by the time we go to February 2000, when there was a constitutional referendum, a constitutional referendum which spoke about the nationalization of land. That day, some of us did know that we had uh, so many compatriots worldwide in this country. They came on board. <coughs> they started funding the MPC. One, one of the uh, 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 industrialists by the name of the Cross <coughs> became the Secretary of Economic Affairs in the MPC. It's very certain that the cross I hear today uh, uh, in response to many years because they are now advancing a neoliberal agenda. It was at that point that the movement for democratic change lost its character as a movement representing the interests of the working class. It was no longer a disciplined force of the left. Because it could not resist the party. And uh, today, leaders of the workers, so my president, are using the, the movement for democratic change as a step ladder to get into finance. When you analyze the manifest, the 2018 manifest, it advances the neoliberal. By the fourth one making Congress <coughs> during the liberation strike, we did not have a communist party. When the MCC was formed by the workers, we did not have a communist party. Because of the communist Congress we asked that a trade union movement by its very nature is not revolutionary. A trade union movement, it negotiates better working conditions and a better working for its members with the employed. The trade union is progressive, but it is not revolutionary. When we say it is not revolutionary, the trade union movement cannot champion or advance or lead the social movement. It is the vanguard of the working class that is better placed to do so. The organ of the working class, the communist party. Now, the communist party cannot play the role of a trade union. We as communists cannot go to the employer and they negotiate for better wages because we, that's not our role as a communist party. We can't play the role of a trade union. So equally, the trade union cannot play the role of a vendor. Because the fact that these are professional revolutionaries who are schooled in Marxist Leninist theory. A communist party is not a mass movement. The trade union is a mass movement. So, the trade union and the communist party, they work hand in hand, or hand in the job, I'm not sure what we are teachers 